This is a game where seldom is heard a piece of the word from the white trash who killed as they came. Although these words dig deep, they offer no relief. Oh, 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 God save the queen, I am an Indian chief. There is a secret I keep, it's called the talking leaf. And you better believe that he speaks his belief. I like a rock that bleeds, a sea of grief. A talking leaf speaks of the wounded knee. Try it again. When you a man who is with old ways, he is the streets of love, but he's in change. Well, I'm a lot cry. Hey, what's up? Welcome. Like <laughs> I always inside. wanted to do that. Hey, l- welcome to the Naked Jedi. Uh, this is Jedi Joy Rich Show, and I'm popping on here because, yes, there is there, there there's an issue with the basketball tournament. They canceled it. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that there's no gambling this week. There's no basketball. Everyone, there are a lot of people here that are here for no reason. So they're just hanging out, partying. I mean, I. I went down this trip earlier today, and it's just a party. They don't care. I mean, there's no gambling going on in the sports arena, but everybody else is still partying because there's other things that go on in Vegas. So, that being said, um, if you're wanting to see come here for the NCAA tournament or any of the Pac-12 or any of that stuff, it's no longer. It's not happening. And I also want to bring up another point. Do not cancel the NFL draft. It's way too early, first of all. Secondly, the reason why I bring that up is because Caesar's already talked about canceling some uh, some some NFL fan events. Now, what that means is those are the you know, I mean, they're trying to cut down the crowd stuff and all this other stuff. It's way too early for that. This thing's gonna blow over eventually, right? It's all gonna blow. It's a virus. It's a flu. Do you guys okay? I, I'm actually a biologist. Uh, that was my. That was my. That's what I studied. So um, I know a little bit about a little bit, um, and I know a little bit what a virus is. And this is why everyone freaks out about it because a virus is what, as humans, the scientists consider, is a non-living entity. It, it, it does not live or die. Not the way, it doesn't have a life cycle the way we are. It doesn't live or die. It doesn't live, it's not dead or alive. It's it's a non-living entity. It's the only way that we could describe it. And if you've ever seen a virus, they all look very similar, the way that they're, they're structured under a microscope. They look like a pod. They have like a like one of the lunar landing pods. They have a head on it, and they got the little legs. And what they do is they land on top of your cell, and any cells. And when they get on top of that cell, what they want to do is they inject their programming, their DNA, into those cells, what they want it to do. Depending on what it is, like you know, AIDS had its own little design. Um, some of the, uh, other viruses have their own little design. So whatever they're, they're designed for that 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 cell, they changes its original design. They hijack it and they change its programming to do something else and reproduce under this new regime <laughs> of the virus. And then that spreads, and that's why you. And then, but then you combat that with your antibodies and your red blood cells. That's why you start to get sick and you get feverish. And that's why for about you know a few days. You don't show any symptoms because, you know, the viruses have landed on your cells and they're starting to spread by multiplying. You know, cells multiply and they're multiplying with the new DNA structure or an RNA, whatever they've got from the virus. And as they reproduce, they reproduce this new entity inside your body. And it takes your body a few days to realize what the hell it is and to go combat that. So that's what happens. And so what I heard is that uh, a couple people got it. You know, I don't know. I mean, I heard some. And you know, he caught the he caught something. The doctors didn't know what it was. And you know, he took some antibiotics. It's still in his system, and he got over it. So it's like out of his system. I don't know if I don't know anything about the coronavirus because I don't watch the news that much. But you know. It's pretty scary if people are buying all the water instead yeah. of soda and, and Corona beer. Yeah, yeah, man. I would think, right? 
Excellent. I mean, Tom Hanks, he's got it, okay? And that guy is like, what, how old is he now? 180 years old, right? So if Tom Hanks, just watch him. See what happens to Tom Hanks over the next couple weeks. If he dies, well, I mean, you gotta chalk it up that he's 180 years old, you have nothing to worry about. But if he lives and he's 180 years old, then, then it's just an, it's just another virus like everything else. What happens is your body eventually develops immune to, to that virus, eventually. Or it doesn't. <laughs> and trying to protect yourself from a virus or panic out like this, that is so old school War of the World stuff. You guys from the War of the Worlds? You know, where they went on the radio, they told everybody we be invaded by Mars, and everybody freaked out, and they raided Costco, and they got all the toilet paper and water and everything, and then O.J. Simpson was out there telling everybody, oh my God, I'm afraid I'm going to die. Dude, uh, did you, have you seen that? Okay, OJ lives. I, I love OJ. He lives here in Vegas. He's a legend. But come on, the, the man escaped the, a double death penalty sentenced, right? 15 years in Clark County penal system. Um, who knows how many concussions and, and fractures the guy's had? A legend, if you guys read his stuff. And now. He, it, he's at 90 years old or however old he is. He's out there with his little thing. He's like, oh man, I, I hope a virus don't get me. It's like, bro, you're kidding me, right? I mean, if, if it's not apparent to you by now that you, of all people, are protected, O.J. Simpson clearly is. <laughs> Anyways, so back to Vegas. So what we're saying here is we're having a great time. If you're not in Vegas, for those of you who aren't here, I'm going to keep you guys up to date. I do, we did go down and do another Allegiant Stadium update today. Looking freaking great. Looking beautiful. We'll get that up when we can. We have all these other stories that pop up in Vegas. That's why our videos take a little longer to get out. Plus, also, I like to play sports. I like to do things. I like to do all sorts of things, <laughs> aside from just sitting in the studio, just working all day. So, you know... Um, yeah, but, but this is important because there's hysteria. And if you watch the news, everyone's you know freaking everybody out. And the people I talk to that are out there, the one thing they have in common is that they don't have a TV. Remember the bird flu? Does anybody remember that? It was about around the, yeah, it was around the, right around the time that the NBA, do you guys remember when the NBA fans were, were fighting with the players? Or no, the players were fighting the fans in the stands. Yeah, right around that time, the bird flu was happening. Listen, we're going to do the video we got coming out. I just want to check in and let you know everything is fine here in Vegas. In fact, better than fine. You, what you should do is you should be getting down here and considering how do I get myself a really good deal on a place to stay in Vegas during the best time of the year to be in Las Vegas, March and April. You should be looking into flights to get here now because that's what you need to be doing. If, if, uh, if I didn't live here, that's what I would be doing. Well, I don't know. If I didn't live here, what would I be doing? Cutaway, right about now. I don't have time to do a cutaway. All right, I'm going to work on the Raiders video. Get that out to you guys. See you in a few. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Not to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I'm not in school. Down, youngin, this is not for you. I'm my jail, my beat with the Kanye yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get, get out, get down. Get down. Get Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.